What's it like to be back in Big Rapids in northern Michigan? Well, it's great. You know, I think uh, I look forward to coming to this outing. It's an important uh, thing I want to do as much as I can. I don't get to do it every year. I missed last year, but I, I don't want to miss in multiple years for sure. Um, you know, this was a this was a such an important time in my life, such a great time. It shaped me as a person. Uh, I married my wife uh, is a is a bulldog as well, and so today I get to bring back my uh, my oldest son here as well and get to play. So it's great. Exciting offseason, Coach. How excited are you for the near future of this franchise? Well, I like the direction. I think I think we're headed in the right direction. Um, you know, I'd like to get to where we all want to be as quick as possible. But uh, it, it, how much time it's going to take, well, none of us know for sure. We've got a whole bunch of a pool of, of young players, both at forward and at D, that I, that I think are going to give us a chance to be super competitive. Um, we need those players to keep taking steps. And with, uh, within our own team, uh, you know, we, we had some guys take some big steps last year, and now they got to take even bigger steps. And these are the harder ones to take um, for us to get to where we want to be where we're in the mix of those playoff teams and ultimately uh, so we can be back on top. You have a different boss, uh, Steve Eisman, compared mm -hmm. to Ken Holland. Can mm -hmm. you talk about that change? Yeah, you know, I feel super fortunate. I, I've had the opportunity to work uh, under what I, I, I know is going to be two Hall of Famers. Certainly Ken Holland's record uh, will, will get him into the Hall of Fame as a GM. He's a great guy to work for. And now working for Steve Eiserman, you get to work for two of the best people in hockey. And, and um, you know, you, you, learn lots of, you learn lots of different stuff as you go through it. Um, and, and, and so now I get a chance to, to learn some stuff from Steve and, and see how they've done things in Tampa and see some of his ideas. And I think it's going to be great. Uh, really enjoyed it so far and look forward to continuing it. Do you think that adds any pressure the new boss, especially if it's the captain? Well, I, I think, first of all, I think any of us that are in this business, we welcome pressure. We want pressure. Pressure is what gets you up in the morning, gets you invigorated. Pressure is what drives you to, to work the grind of the year that it is. So I think it's great. I think at the end, um, you know, Steve Steve's here to, to, to bring this franchise uh, uh, where, where we all want it to be, and, and he's going to work tirelessly to do it. Uh, you know, I think he said in his press conference, uh, it'll take patience, and it will take patience. Uh, th this stuff doesn't happen overnight, um, you know, in a draft, and in a salary cap uh, league, there's going to be cycles. It's going to be cyclical. And, and I think we're starting to, to make our way back up in our cycle. Um, but again, we need lots of hard work by a lot of guys that are that are currently in place to keep us pushed in the right direction. What did the, what the St. Louis Blues last year uh, uh, show the rest of the teams? Here they, here they were struggling, the worst record, and here they are Stanley Cup champs. What did that example kind of show for your organization and for others, do you think? Well, I think, you know, I say this all the time. Uh, the league is so tight. It's extraordinarily tight. Um, uh, it, 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 the differences between the best teams and the teams that are where we've been in, in the standings are not that great. So that, that always gives you hope. Now, St. Louis going into last season would have been picked to be a, a playoff team for sure. And, and they just happened where they, they ended up in a struggle. And, and that's just the reality of the league. Every single night uh, is a super close game. It's usually going to be a one goal game what we've done in the last couple of years we haven't found a way to win enough of those one goal games we have to find a way to win more of those one goal games that breeds confidence in this league right now confidence is everything because everybody is so tight now, what did you see from your team this past season and what do you hope to see in training camp next month well, you know, I, I thought we saw growth of some some real important young players. I think Dylan Larkin took a step. I think uh, Anthony Mantha took a step. Uh, certainly, Andreas Athanasiu and and, and uh, Tyler Bertuzzi. Those are those are four real core pieces of, of young players. You know, I thought we saw Phil Horonic come up and, and look like a guy that's going to be a top four type NHL defenseman. And that's what we need. We need guys that are going to be difference makers in the league. And, and those are the guys that ultimately separate the team. You know, I thought at the very end of the year um, we played a style that we're going to have to play in order to be successful. We checked really well. Uh, we didn't be, uh, beat ourselves. Uh, that's the way we're going to have to be su to be successful. But as I said, the, the steps that we need players to take, these get harder. Every step you take as you get towards the top gets harder and harder. Um, but I know the character of the group, and I look forward to getting after them here in September. Number one goal is to make the playoffs and go from there. Number one goal is to get better every day. That's our focus right now. You know, we need our we need players to improve. Um, we can't take any shortcuts for uh, uh, short-term success. We we got to look at it as a long-term approach. So, number one goal is for us to get better as a group every day and for individual players to get better every day.
Having started your coaching career here at Ferris State, uh, what lessons do you take from Coach Daniels and that staff on here today? Well, first of all, you know the, the job Coach Daniels has done has been remarkable. Him and his staff, Drew Famulak, um, Mark Kaufman, they've done a remarkable job. Not only being competitive and in, 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 you know situations getting to the final uh, Frozen Four, it's awesome. But beyond that, if you see the groups that that come back here, uh, he's just created uh, this 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 uh, brotherhood of, of of Bulldogs, and I think it's awesome. I mean, so many different. I'm connected to so many different classes, people that I never came near playing with. Uh, I look forward to coming back and seeing them. So I think that's great. I learned tons from Coach Daniels. It was my first job in hockey was uh, working for him. Uh, what a way. He gave me an unbelievable foundation, uh, both him and, and working with Drew Family. Like they gave me an unbelievable foundation that I think has really helped me as I've moved along in, in my coaching career. Are you excited to have uh, Eiserman back with the organization and what does he bring to the front office and how often do you guys interact? Well, as I said, you know, I'm excited. I think it's great the opportunity. I've had the chance to work for uh, two two great, great uh, men in hockey in, in, in Ken Holland and Steve Eiserman, two great managers. Um, you know, he, he obviously brings, uh, you know, a lot of experience. He, he lived what we're trying to do right now. You know, when he got to Detroit, Detroit wasn't a very good team. We haven't been a very good team the last couple of years. He knows how to how to build that. He's seen it firsthand. He's done it firsthand, um, and so I think that's great. He also, you know, obviously did a, a real good job down in Tampa and building that organization up. So you know, you, you you gain that experience. You gain all the things that he's been through. Um, him and I talk on a fairly regular basis. Uh, I don't know if it's every day, but it's pretty darn close to every day. And as we move towards the season, we'll talk more regularly. Um, you know, he he's a, a manager from what I've seen so far that he's gonna let you do your job, but he also wants to make sure that uh, it's heading in the right direction. I think that's great.